Your field of view varies depending on your monitor's aspect ratio. The larger the FOV, the more of your surroundings that you can see. So in a way, people with surround monitors have an advantage because they can see more in their peripheral vision. But also remember that a lot of pro players use black bars which actually limits their FOV, so it's not essential if you want to get good at the game. Personally, I prefer being able to see more. The easiest way to change this is to type in the console FOV CS Debug and then a number, but it will only work on servers with cheats enabled. Try it out on an offline server with bots or something if you're interested. Zero returns your field of view to default. 1 gives you the most zoomed in view possible, 90 is normal and 179 is as far as it goes before breaking completely. For the ultimate console experience, type in a value like 70. I hate games that force a view like this, I feel really claustrophobic and vulnerable. On the other hand, if you want the Quake Pro experience, then use a value like 110. The larger the number, the lower your frame rate will become. This isn't some kind of conspiracy to cancel out the benefits of a larger FOV, it's simply because it has to draw more of your surroundings. And just for lols, use a value like 150 and you'll appear to run along at about 100 miles an hour, though it's strangely easy to control still since it's all just a trick. Or an illusion if you prefer. But as I've already said, you need cheats to use this so it's not suitable for actually playing the game. However, there is a way of forcing a wider field of view in proper games, and it's really simple. Right click on CSGO in Steam, Properties, Set Launch Options and replace these numbers with the custom resolution that you want. I have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, so to make it simulate a two screen setup, I make the height half of what it would be normally. In this case, I make it 540. In game, it'll look like this. Perhaps a little bit extreme, something like 900 or even 800 seems like a nice compromise if you want a little bit of extra peripheral vision in game. The downside is that using this mode, you'll have black boxes at the top and bottom of your screen. You can force custom resolutions using a program like CRU, but I don't want you to blow up your monitor, so I won't be covering it in this video. Plus, strange things happen when you stretch it to fill your monitor. They're still the same maps, you'll still move just as fast, but they look claustrophobic. But as before, it's still just an illusion. Although nothing looks good when you set it to an extreme value, check out this video on how to improve what your view model looks like at different FOVs.